Hi Aquarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards who's coming towards you in regards to love. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see. Spirit angels and guides, please show me who's coming towards Aquarius in regards to love. Who's coming towards Aquarius in regards to love? Aquarius. All right, so we have Ten of Pentacles. We also have Strength. And we also have the Eight of Wands. So it could be a Sagittarius for some of you, um, Aquarius, with the Eight of Wands. I do feel like this is someone who sees you as someone who they can build a life with or, you know, build a stable future with. Someone who they want to have a stable future with. They want to have a stable relationship with. They see you as someone who's very nurturing, someone who's very caring, someone who's very loving and generous, kind. They see you as someone who has a really, really good heart. And someone who has a lot of value and brings a lot to the table. They see you as someone who can provide um, long-term stability and, and security. So it kind of looks like they're coming towards you um, quickly with the Eight of Wands. With a little bit of a sense of urgency is what I'm getting from this person's energy. Yeah, I'm getting like um, urgency. It's almost like this person might be scared that it might be a little bit too late, but they're hoping that it's not too late. Okay, let's clarify here. Here we go. Spirit, what can you tell me about the um, Eight of Wands, please? Clarify the Ace of Wands in regards to who's coming towards Aquarius. What's at the bottom of the deck? Oh, Ten of Cups. Yeah, this person is definitely wanting a future with you. They see you as um, the mother of their children or the father of their children. Um, they see you as someone who they can have a family with and a home with. All right, tell me about the Eight of Wands in regards to who's coming towards Aquarius. So we have Six of Pentacles. We also have the Seven of Wands. And, well, 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 the Seven of Swords, Sneaky Sneaky. Mr. Sneaky Sneaky or Mrs. Sneaky Sneaky. I don't know why that energy is showing up here attached to them. That's not a good sign. So, yeah, with the Seven of Wands and the Six of Pentacles, this is someone who wants to fight for their relationship with you or they want to fight to manifest and establish a relationship with you but they seem to be um keeping some sort of secret here with the seven of swords and of course i'm gonna find out because i'm gonna look into it 
you know, um, I'm also getting, uh, this is actually Aquarius energy. So I'm actually picking up on also that you might not trust this person. You might look at this person like they're up to something, you know, they're hiding something. You might feel like this person is potentially deceiving you in some way or they're coming towards you to try to deceive you or to try to play games with you or trick you. Okay, well, you know what? Now that I look at it, this actually might be your energy of, like I said, you feeling like you can't trust them. So let's look at their intentions. Let's just, let's just directly go to that energy. Um, let me get this deck. Spirit, what can you tell me about this person's true intentions with Aquarius, please? Um, the person that's coming towards Aquarius here in regards to love. What can you tell me about this person's true intentions with Aquarius? So we have death in their intentions. We also have the five of pentacles in their intentions. And we also have the the Empress, Empress is showing up twice here. And their intentions at the bottom of the deck here is the Nine of Cups. And also the Four of Cups is showing up. And what do you know? Here we have the Devil with the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Yeesh. Yikes. Um, Empress is showing up twice because the person that sh that person that's in the strength card is the Empress. So you are showing up as an Empress, male or female, doesn't matter the gender, um, but you are definitely the total package. You are definitely someone of high value and high quality. And that is how they're viewing you. And that's why they're coming towards you. So this person sabotaged the relationship between the two of you. They did. With the death card and the five of pentacles, they managed to sabotage um, the opportunity that they had with you. And it kind of looks like with the devil and the ace of pentacles, this person wants this opportunity that they lost with you, they want it back. They want it back. They want you back. Because it kind of looks like this person, um, they just don't feel happy with the Four of Cups and the Nine of Cups. They just don't feel happy. Don't, they don't feel um, content. They don't feel good. On the contrary, they feel stressed. They feel um, lost, rejected, left out in the cold. They're struggling mentally and emotionally. They're struggling to, um, to find balance in their life without you in the picture. Because it kind of looks like there was some sort of breakup or separation between the two of you with the death card. And this person has not been doing so well. It kind of looks like this person's really having um, a hard time or experiencing a lot of um, difficulties with their money, their finances, their work, their career, um, their ability to just, you know... Um, maintain themselves maintain themselves afloat um, in the material sense or just maybe emotionally and mentally 
What's what's the Five of Pentacles about Spirit? I just want to know. I'm just curious. What is this Five of Pentacles about? This person made a lot of bad decisions while they were with you. A lot of bad decisions. And it kind of looks like it's all it's all coming back to them, you know? The consequences of, of all their bad decisions are now being dumped being dumped dumped on them at the same time. If that makes sense. Tell me about the five of pentacles. The Ten of Wands, yeah, this person is feeling a lot of burden or carrying a lot of burdens. The Star and the Queen of Wands. Who's the Queen of Wands? Is that you? Yeah, it does feel like you, yeah. Um, Leo energy here. So it just kind of looks like, oh, and uh, the star is uh, Aquarius energy. It kind of looks like this person, um, they really need your support. You know, they really want your support. They really feel like they're, um, they're drowning. They want your help. They want your help. What else does this person want with um, Aquarius spirit? What does this person truly want with Aquarius? Jesus, what a train wreck here. Messy situation here. What else does this person truly want with Aquarius? Wheel of Fortune, they want a new beginning, Eight of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Page of Swords. No, I, I don't know. No, I, don't, I just don't feel like this is going to work out because they're so below your level, it's not even funny. I mean, you're showing up as a double empress, and this person, like... What can they bring to the table? They cannot bring anything. They don't have anything. In regards to like a true partnership, this person wouldn't be able to hold up their their half of the relationship. You know, a, a relationship, a, a partnership has to be sustained um, by two people equally giving to each other, equally supporting each other. This person doesn't have anything to give, you know. All they can do is take, you know. That's all they can do. It's like even if they wanted to give, they 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 don't have anything. So I'm just not seeing how this can work out. Um, I guess I'll look into the future to see, you know, how are things going to play out here. Because it looks like this person is someone who's very needy, very needy, um, very codependent. Um, and like I said, they're basically more of a taker than a giver here. With the devil card, I also feel like this person um, has repeatedly falling into this type of situation that they're currently in over and over again. I feel like there's a vicious cycle connected to this person. I feel like they, they keep making the same mistakes over and over again, expecting a different outcome. And it's, that it's just, that's just not how it works. So it does look like this person wants to have a new beginning with you, but it just kind of looks like you're walking away here with the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles because it's not your job here to, to save this person. 
because this person looks like they need some saving. And that's just not something that you're willing to do here. It looks like you've been more than generous with this person or with the strength card. I mean, that's how they're looking at you. So it looks like you've been more than nice and generous and, you know, kind with this person or forgiving or patient. Um, but it just kind of looks like this person um, doesn't appreciate it. And it looks like they just keep disappointing you and making the same mistakes over and over again. So it just kind of looks like you're just surrendering here. You're surrendering and you're you're letting this go because um, at this point, if you continue to stay, it's just going to hurt you. Like this person's going to bring you down with them. At, at some point, they're, they're just going to end up bringing you down with them. You know, if that makes sense. Okay. Jeez. Man, that's, this is intense. All right, where am I going? Let's see. So it doesn't look like you trust them, but let me just quickly look at your um, feelings. I just wanna see how you feel real quick. And then we'll see what's coming up. Spirit, what are Aquarius's feelings for this person, please, that's showing up here? How does Aquarius feel about this person that's showing up here, please? Aquarius. Two of Cups. Interesting, Two of Cups, okay. Also the Three of Wands. Also, oh, I see, the Ten of Cups. Hmm. At the bottom of the deck, though, we do have the Eight of Cups showing up here. Hmm. Aquarius, you have like a brand new relationship coming up for you. Eight of Cups to the Ten of Cups. It kind of looks like you're walking away from this relationship and you're walking towards a brand new uh, relationship, a brand new opportunity. So, you know, I feel like you're sad with the Eight of Cups, like you're sad, you're disappointed to um, be walking away from this person or this relationship that you had with them, but you feel like it's for your own good. You feel like it's, it's for your own good. You feel like the grass um, is greener on the other side. You feel like the grass has to be greener on the other side because, you know, you, you haven't, you've experienced nothing but, you know, disappointment with this, in this relationship. Um, so it kind of looks like you're opening up your mind towards exploring new options, you know, exploring new possibilities and new opportunities. Um, I feel like you want love with the Two of Cups. You know, you want a, a partnership. You want a stable relationship. Um, so you know that you're never going to have that if you stay here in this situation with this person. So with that being said, you're walking away. And I don't, I'm not sure that you realize it, but you are walking away and moving towards... Um, a new relationship that is going to be very emotionally fulfilling for you and that's going to be um, a very successful partnership okay so that's what i see happening here aquarius um how is um this person going to act or respond in the future spirit So we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Fool. And we have the Page of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Nine of Wands, Seven of Cups.
King of Wands, Hermit, Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Queen of Swords, Ace of Wands, the Chariot. Yeah, this person is going to try to, you know, apologize to you. This person that you're walking away from, they are going to attempt to apologize to you, to make things right with you, to, um, to make amends with you. They're really hoping that if they just, you know... Um, do their best to apologize and make things right with you that you'll change your mind about them and that you'll you know accept to accept having a new beginning with them it just looks like you're not going to do that though with the nine of pentacles and the fool it just looks like you have made up your mind to be free from this whole um, experience and to just focus on yourself Okay, and I do feel like that that is the best thing you can do because, like I said, I do feel like um, if you keep moving forward and if, and if you keep moving on from this situation, um, you are going to find yourself in um, encountering a brand new um, person, a new relationship that is going to be everything you wanted this relationship to be. Okay. I hope this reading helped Aquarius. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Take care.